All right, so this is the actual uh, SEO work process that we go through with all our clients. It's the same for every company in the market. Um, yeah, the tools they may use will be different, um, but the actual fundamentals is exactly the same for the whole industry. It's, it's pretty standardized. So step one is basically we look at the website. So we get an inquiry. Our client asks us, hey, you know, my website is not ranking for a particular keyword. We look at the website. What are the factors that uh, need to be improved? What's hindering the website from actually getting found in the search engines? Number two, keyword research. Then we look at the, the target market. Like, you know, what's your ideal customer? Uh, like with, with Annette just now, uh, you know, like her mini speakers. You now, what are people searching for when it comes to different keywords in the market? Uh, we do a keyword research, which we'll actually have a little exercise later, a hands on exercise. So it's like a hot seat. We pick a few people and we will actually do an analysis of your market based on what people are searching for. Um, like, you know, where is my husband? Those kind of things. Um, then we look at, after we've actually fine-tuned what keywords are the best for your target market based on search volume, accuracy, etc. We will look at your competitors in the market. If you're, not, if you're not ranked on the first page, why are your competitors ranked for those keywords and how to beat them? So you study why they're ranking, you apply the same thing to your website and then you beat them. Um, after we look at the content on your website, um, can it be improved? Are your content relevant? Is it targeted? Is there a call to action, etc.? cetera? Um, after that, just the work that we do on your website. Number one to number four is basically all the work that we actually do on your website itself. Number five onwards is actually submitting content to Google, this, uh, distributing content. Traditional marketing, you have a shop. And if you fill up your shop with you know, all your products, you have your signboard and all that. That's like your website. And then after that, you start throwing flyers, advertising, MRT, bus shelters, etc. Internet marketing, you take your content and you start distributing it online to blogs, third party websites, article sites, videos, social media, etc. So, step five onwards, order to number eight, is all about distributing your content and then repeating it every month and looking at the results, looking at your analytics, fine tuning it, see where the sources of traffic are coming from and maybe focusing on that particular source of traffic more and um, distributing more content to them. And it's a constant process. Usually it's a six-month six process because Google is pretty smart. Um, a lot of black cat companies actually spam the internet with thousands of pages of content. You, know, you see them in your email, you know, the others Viagra, whatever crap. Um, now Google is pretty smart. They realize that a lot of companies are trying to to gain the search engine results. So naturally, as a human being, when right, let's say you're throwing flies, you can't really throw 10,000 flies in one day, right? Likewise, in SEO, you cannot write like 100 articles a day and start and, and use, you know, just use a computer and start blasting out manually by yourself. If you use a software, then you're basically gaming the search engines, and Google actually detects it. So if you're building links too fast in an unnatural way, Google will detect it and that will penalize your website by banning you from the search engines or demoting your listing. You could be number one, one day, and like on page five the next day. So that's why it's a six month process because we need to do it in a slow and steady manner that looks human. It doesn't look like a robot or software is actually doing it automatically. All right, I'll just go through a, a case study that is based on this SEO work process. Uh, ClickSangi is a new up and coming website. It's basically focusing on Indian music. It's like YouTube and Facebook for music. Um, the USP is that you can learn to play music without knowing music theory. Um, and you can learn music, you can share it, post it online. There's a community where they can actually you know, evaluate your music and learn from music teachers online. Singaporean uh, company. Um, so, what we did, we actually uh, audited the site see where it can be improved in terms of content, the right structure, the actual uh, website, the name, the URLs, and what keywords are actually assigned to what page. Um, that's w and then work with the content development team. So every website actually has someone who actually is producing the content, be it the business owner or marketing team. Then we take the content, we look at each individual page, and how can it be optimized based on the keywords that the client is actually wanting to, to rank for. And then after that, it's, um, once the website is live, we actually take the content and we distribute it online. So this is the actual 
time frame for every SEO contract. All right, so step two is the keyword research. Uh, Marcus touched on it just now. The URL is adwords.google.com. If you can't remember, just type in the Google keyword tool on search. Yeah, we we'll go through that later. So the top part, words or phrase, you basically just do it like a brain dump. Whatever comes to your mind first, put it in. If you have a blank mind, you don't know anything about your business, ask the customers or ask your employees, what will people do in terms of a search to find your website? And there's no right or wrong, just dump it in. Um, and then choose which country you're targeting. I mean, yeah, which country your, your business is operating on in, most likely Singapore. And then choose what language. And then just press search. And then Google will give you a list of all the keyword ideas. If you really have no idea, just type in your competitor's website under this website category. And then Google will actually list down all the keywords that your, your competitor is actually getting ranked for. So yeah, there's two ways of doing it. Putting in your ideas or just typing in a website and Google will tell you why or what keywords that website is rank, actually ranking for. So just keyword research. This is quite important. This is like the 20% the that you do that will actually give you 80% of the success in your online business. Because if you target the wrong keywords that no one is actually searching for, you will not get the, the people to come to your website. All right, so looking at Click Sangit, he was int interested in Indian or Bollywood music, but that's what the website's about. Um, so look, look, look at the global average. Um, the lo yeah, in this case, the local and global is the same, but he was targeting a worldwide market. So we shortlisted Indian music lyrics, Indian piano scores, Bollywood piano, Bollywood lyrics, and that was the global monthly search volume. So obviously, you would naturally Select keywords which have higher search volume. You don't select a keyword that has like no one searching for like Indian music lyrics, right? Oh no, no, Indian piano scores. I mean, you want to search, you want to actually target Indian music lyrics, Indian music, in Hindi songs, etc., etc. So I'll show you the exercise that we go later. How to actually filter and select the top keywords. So this is what we do after filtering the the keywords. Uh, we choose an initial set of keywords. And then we send it to the client, and then the client will actually shortlist a few um, based on their budget and how, how aggressive they want to do SEO. So the ones in yellow are the shortlisted ones. Um, he was targeting India in this case. So you can see the difference between the local search volume in India in column C versus column B, which is the global average. These numbers will change uh, based on the month. Um, these are based on the average month uh, previously in March, for example, the, the season fluctuations. Um, likewise, we were actually doing SEO for uh, MBA school, um, like Aventus, and yeah, they wanted to actually find out in Singapore, what are people searching for related to the keyword MBA, MBA school. You can see that cost per click. So if you're using pay per click and you get like 100 clicks a day on the keyword executive MBA, you pay $811 per day. It was $10 per, yeah, we get, yeah, 100 clicks a day. So you can see how much value SEO is giving you if you're getting free traffic from the search engines as opposed to pay per click. I mean, not everyone has a budget of $800 per day. It's like $24,000 a month just from one keyword MBA, executive MBA. So imagine you choose all these keywords and you get 100 clicks per day on all these keywords. And how much money are you giving Google? That's why Google is making so much money. Billions of dollars. Google doesn't make money from SEO, by the way. Yeah, so they don't really like SEO, guys. But clients do. All right, salespeople and customers. Um, like I said, if you're not sure on what keywords to actually go for, um, yeah, ask your salespeople. They know what the market is actually um, talking about the lingo, and also your customers. Because customers don't know your business, but they know what they want. So the way they describe your product or service, it's not, it's not what you expect, but that is something that is giving you market feedback that you can use to actually optimize your website for, what keywords to optimize your website for, to be found so that your customers who are actually using those keywords can actually find you. All right, and not all keywords are equal. 
you may think that if I choose 100 keywords, every keyword actually has the same um, you know, click-through rate or search volume. Um, it's actually not the same. In terms of conversion rate, a one-word phrase, yes, you make it the most search volume, but it's not very targeted. Most people use one-word or two-word phrases more for research. For example, one-word phrase is like Honda. When you're buying a car, you don't just go and look for Honda, right? Because you already know that you want a Honda. A two-word phrase would be like Honda Civic. You more or less know you want a Honda Civic, not a Honda Jazz, uh, Integra. A three-word phrase is like white Honda Civic. You know you want a Honda Civic, but you know you want it to be white and not pink or black. Then a four-word phrase like Honda Civic dealership Topayo, for example. Because you live in Changi or Pasir you don't want to. I mean, you live in Topayo, you don't want to go to Pasir Ris or Jurong just to look at Honda Civics. Then five-word phrase is more specific. So the the more specific the, the phrase is, um, the higher the conversion, because the people more or less know what you want. But it, it, it tailors off. Um, so four and three word phrases are the most highly converting keywords. They may not give you the most search volume, they may not give you the most traffic to your website, but they will give you the most conversion. So when you do your SEO, um, so called basket, getting your basket of keywords to optimize your website for, you choose a mix between two word phrases, three and four word phrases.